Months of rehearsing will lead to Saturday. 23 groups make up Sensation this year. That's nearly 1,000 performers, three divisions, and musical selections running the gamut. Our guests represent Millard West's three different show choirs from Swing Cats, Tara Anderson, Dominic Dutre is an uptown girl, and from West in the Groove, Annika Brown. It's nice to have all three of you here. So um, I, we didn't really have this show choir scene. I mean, to think about three different groups at one school blows my mind. Um, so Sensation for somebody like me who knows very little, what is it about? So Sensation is um, our school's um, show choir competition uh -huh. that we host every year. But it's not just for you guys. No, we have um, over, we have 24 groups, mm -hmm. over a thousand performers. From five different states coming. Five different states. So that's how we get to that number of a thousand yes. performers coming in, that they're not just Omaha students, but coming from all over the place. Um, but why does Millard West put it on? What's the, the idea that like you care so much about it to put the work into the event? Well, <clears throat> show choir is a year-round kind of activity, mm -hmm. and it's a really good opportunity for the groups that are attending to showcase what they've been working on since August, like yeah. at our school audition clinic start in May, so that's kind of when the year starts wow. for her. How, how many people. hours a week do, would you guess, like on average, that you're putting into it? Um, probably like put in like four, four. in rehearsals, but... But, month, but then months of it adding up, so you must really love it. So, Tara, what is it about show choir that you say, like, I'm willing to put the time into this. It means enough to me. The, I think what pulls people in the most is the family atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And we all love each other so much. We just spend so much time together, and it's really fun. Is there any competition between the three of you? Like, it, like since you're going to the same school and you know what each other, what you're up to? No, we're all really, like, supportive of each other. Mm -hmm. and. That's we're always awesome. there to cheer each other on before performances. And Our during. director, like, not requires us. We would want to sure. be there anyway, but we are then there you watching are encouraged each other. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> to Good be word. kind to one another. <laughs> yes. Um, and to be supportive of one another. We watch each other's shows uh -huh. and cheer each other on. So, so. Tara, on Saturday, I imagine it's going to be nuts because this thing starts mm -hmm. in the morning and then it goes all day long. Yeah. Uh, put it into context what the day's like. Well, the first show performs at 7 30 ish in the morning, mm -hmm. and then the last show. That starts finals will be at 7.30 and then there'll be some more after that. So it's longer than 12 hours of people performing all day long. And there'll be tons of food like high beach Chinese or Chick-fil-A. And lots of people from different schools will just find each other and make friends. Uh-huh. And the, the talent levels. I mean, you guys, I'm, I'm watching this. And I remember a few years ago was kind of my first taste. I was at a fundraiser for a local district. And the show choir performed. And I thought, man, a lot of these kids could be on Broadway. I mean, we could go to the Orpheum and see similar talent. And the, the singing and the dancing, you've got to be pretty proud of what you put on stage. Um, and the, how, did you, how did you first get interested in it? Were you the kid singing with a hairbrush in the mirror? Or what was it about show choir that you said, yeah, this is home for me? Um, I grew up watching my siblings do it, uh -huh. so that was sort of my like reasoning to do it. Uh huh. And what about you, Dominic? Um, I was in a jazz choir when I was—I don't even know how old I was—but uh -huh. that was kind of what got me into it. And um, the jazz choir was kind of directed by someone who was in Millard West Show Choir, so uh -huh. she kind of—that was the foot in the door for me. Uh -huh. So that's kind so of how I got into it. Tara, a lot of people who are watching this show right now, their their kids aren't kids anymore. They're <laughs> right; they're adults. They've moved on. So let's let's think about those people who don't have kids who are performing on Saturday. Why would you still encourage them to come to Sensation? It's a great thing to just watch and support because it's so different than any other show that people put on or anything at all. So it's mm -hmm. a whole lot different and it's fresh and new. Mm -hmm. What have you guys learned being part of the, not just as performers, but being part of the organization to put something of this size together? What do you think you've learned from that? I mean, it's a really big time commitment. Mm -hmm. And more than that, it's just commitment in general because you know, you are put in a group with 49 other people and they're your family for the year and you spend lots of time with them. So you kind of learn to be like cooperative and supportive <laughs> of each other and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, really for good sure. character building, for well, sure. Well, these are such important things that you're learning through show choir <laughs> that I feel like they'll come in handy as you head off to college or you're grown-ups and trying to navigate the workplace. I mean, all of those qualities are so important. Um, and so Saturday, as we're talking about Sensation back at Millard West, and it starts that morning at 7.30. That's not a typo. Yes, 7.30 a.m. And then it goes all day long, and then they'll just sort of like, right, you just whittle it down, whittle it down, whittle it down. Um, if you'd like to be part of the entire event, it's $12. If you're interested in a single session, 
Bash, and you can also get tickets for that. So if you are one of the grandparents watching or parents and you want to be there just to see um, your sons and daughters, your grandsons and granddaughters there, um, you're welcome to log on to MillardWestShowChoirs.com. There's more information there online. Otherwise, you're going on Saturday, and yes, they've got food. <laughs> A lot of people, if I'm there all day, I'm going to get hungry. I got you covered. Kids under four are free, and for high school age students, it's five dollars. Perfect. So. Great. Go. Nice. Can you make posters and cheer loudly? Like, is it that kind of thing? I don't know. Um, <laughs> we haven't seen a lot of that, but you know, I don't suppose. do it. That's just that's just what I would do. But I feel like that would be frowned upon. Guys, thank you so much for coming well, in. It's great you. to meet you, and good luck on Saturday. Thank okay. Thank you. Well,